So when my siblings and I bought my 91-year-old mother an iPad for Christmas a few years ago, I thought she'd love it right out of the box. But then I realized she had to learn how to swipe around between apps and pages and screens and scrolling and tapping and the like. And she'd never really done much of that before, so it was, it was a learning experience. And nothing is more frustrating when your iPad just doesn't do what you think it should do. If you'd like to polish your swiping skills on your iPad, then stick around. This video is for you. Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Rich, and most of the videos I've released recently have been designed to help beginners and seniors get the most out of their iPhone and iPad. This channel continues to grow, and I want to say thank you to all of you who have subscribed. I do my best to make videos that teach you a thing or two and are just, you know, easy to follow. Today's topic about swiping really is the starting point for using an iPad. This is really basic stuff, but if you can't swipe around, then using the iPad becomes really frustrating. And while I can't really show you, you know, how much pressure to apply when you're swiping, you'll just have to learn that with practice, I can show you the basic gestures that get you around your iPad. So today I'm going to show you how to use swipes to view control center because that's something you should do. How to search your iPad, how to return to the home screen with a swipe, how to open apps and move apps to the dock, how to close apps, and how to open two apps side by side, which is really handy when you're doing comparison stuff and research and that kind of stuff. All right, let's get started. Okay, the first tip I want to show you is how to view Control Center, the swipe that you need to learn to view that. And it's really simple. From the top right, you just swipe down. And there you have Control Center. And to get rid of it, you just tap somewhere in the middle of the screen. I've made a whole video on why Control Center is such a powerful thing, and I encourage you to go back and take a look at that. I'll put a link to it in the description below. But swiping from the top right brings Control Center. Here you can control the volume of a video, like you know a YouTube video. You can change the brightness of your screen like that, and there's a whole bunch of other things that you can do inside of Control Center. So make sure you take a look at that video. But that's how you open Control Center, with a swipe. Just a simple swipe from the top right, and you've got it, tap somewhere on the screen, and it goes away. Every now and then, you want to just search your iPad, and it's amazing how good the search feature on the iPad is. And to do that, all you do is somewhere around the middle of the screen, you swipe down and it brings up a search box. And you can type in anything you want. Maybe you want to take a look at your contacts app. So you can type in contacts and it shows up even before you finish typing the word. So you can just tap on contacts and now you're in your contacts app. It's that simple. Again, all you do is swipe down somewhere in the middle of the screen. And you can see it's already got what I typed in there. You can just take that out and then type in anything you want. And if you notice, we opened up the Contacts app before, but maybe you didn't want to open the Contacts. Maybe you just wanted Home Depot. So you can just type in Home Depot. And now you have some choices. You can look at the Home Depot in the App Store. There's an app. You can check a map. You can go on the website for Home Depot, or you can go up here where it's a contact and just tap on it, and it opens the Home Depot contact up. Searching is incredibly powerful, and you can literally type anything in in the search box and look for it. It'll search the web for you, it'll search your iPad for you, uh, and it's just a real handy thing to have. So that is how you search on your iPad. Now I want to show you how to return to the home screen. It's really simple. If you have an app that's open like this and you want to get back to your home screen, there's a couple of ways you can do that. If you're using an iPad that has Touch ID on it, then all you have to do is go over here and touch the home button and you're back to home. However, if you're using an iPad that doesn't have that, you simply swipe up from the bottom like that and that takes you back to the home screen. So you may have a whole bunch of different apps that are open, but you can always get back to the home screen any way you want. 
just like that and just swipe up from the bottom and that's really easier even than using the home button but if you don't want to do that swipe you can always use the home button okay the next thing I want to show you is how to open an app and how to move an app to the dock so opening an app is pretty straightforward all you do is you tap on the icon so if I want to open the Apple News and just tap on the Apple News and there I have all the Apple News stories now sometimes you have a whole bunch of apps that are here on your screen but you want to put it in the dock because that's where you put your most important apps and to do that all you do is you press on the screen till everything starts jiggling so you press and hold your finger till it jiggles and then you take the app and then you just drag it down in between two other apps and then tap the home screen and now you've added it to the dock and you do the same thing if you want to remove the app from the dock you just tap and hold till everything starts jiggling then you take your finger on the app you want out and you drag it out it's really very simple and that is how you open an app and then how you move an app into the dock and remove it from the dock all right the next thing I want to show you is how to close an app now if you look here if I open news and then I swipe away you might think that app is closed but it's not closed it's just not open on your iPad to close apps to actually turn them off you take your finger and you swipe up to the middle and hold like that and then you let go these are all the apps that I have open on my iPad to close that all you have to do is flick it up and you can go through all of your apps and close them this way one by one now I don't recommend you close your apps your iPads plenty powerful enough to have as many apps open really as you want but if you want to close an app or it's acting funny it's not working the way you think it should work then just swipe up from the bottom bring up all the apps and then swipe it away and that will close the app and when it closes the app then you can go back and reopen it and probably everything will be working then so that is how you close an app using a swipe okay the next thing I want to show you is how to open two apps side by side and you may wonder why in the world would I want to do that well there's a number of reasons one of which might just be research maybe you have the Safari app open and then you want to open the notes app so you can take some notes on something you're reading on the web so let me show you how to do that so the first thing you do is you open Safari and now you've got Safari open but there's no other apps and there's not even a dock down here but to get the dock up you simply move this up like that and then you tap on the notes app and drag it over like this to the side and now you have the notes app so I made a note on the Margate Tower in Myrtle Beach maybe I want to add some pictures over to my note and you can actually drag and drop pictures so you can just tap on that so you can just tap on that and drag it over like that and now you have a picture in your notes and if you want to close these two apps you can swipe up from the bottom like I showed you before but when you go back to open those apps even if you tap on one of them if they're already open side by side they'll stay open so if I tap on Safari again now it brings up both Safari on the left and notes on the right and if you want to close one of those apps maybe you want to close the notes app you just put your finger in the middle where the divider is and slide it over like that and now just the Safari app is open and of course to get back to the home screen all you do is swipe up and that is just a quick tip on how to open two applications side by side knowing how to swipe around is step one in using your iPad but with practice and patience you'll get there so don't let the frustration get the best of you. Just take your time learning these basic gestures and you'll be using your iPad like a pro before you know it. Well, if you made it this far, thanks so much for watching. I hope these tips helped and I'll see you in the next video.